Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I have what I hope will be a quick word. Um, and I'm just going to try to release it because, ooh, the, the Spirit of the Lord is really strong. God literally woke me up out of my sleep, like, saying this to me. Because the petitions of of this house was on my heart last night and so i started asking god like you know god what what is it gonna take what do they need god like like how do we get this thing done for people like i was petitioning heaven right because i was feeling like so many of you were you're just like okay i just i just need it at this point right like you know all that stuff and so you know, I was just kind of saying, okay, God, like we're on, we're on the field. I've been teaching, I've been preaching everything that you're saying. And I'm like, God, how do I get it? How, how does, how, how are your people going to get it? Right. Mm, help me Jesus. And so this morning I woke up out of my sleep and this house was still on my heart. It was still on my heart. Right. And I heard the Lord say two things to me. I heard the Lord say to me, call it in, right? Call it in. And I literally like opened my notepad and I wrote that. And then I started to hear the Lord talk to me about being a God of miracles. And here is the thing. Here is the thing. And you will hear me preach this from now until the day God calls me home, right? At the end of the day, what I have grown to know and to experience and to see is that you have to open your mouth. You have, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to open your mouth. Like, like there's no other way for me to say it. And so when God himself talked me through this, right, I had been, I'm telling you, and I don't mean to keep rehashing this, but I was crying out to God. I was talking about it. I was praying about it. But until I got up under some old school faith generals who taught me how to speak what I wanted, I did not see any fruit. It didn't matter if somebody prophesied to me. It didn't until, it didn't matter how much I cried, how much I begged how big the need was until I got out of my feelings and got into faith and called that thing in, just like the Lord put in my heart. I did not see anything. I can testify. Mm. Who help me Lord? Cause I don't want to get emotional. I can testify at 46 years of age, the miracles that I have seen God perform in my own life. I have been homeless with my babies and I've told God, I, I, you gotta make a way. I've called that thing in. Housing has to show up for me. And that thing showed up miraculously, miraculously. I mean, like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I have, commanded for my body to manifest good health i've commanded pain to leave me i've commanded i've been in situations at work where i've been oppressed by people and i have commanded that oppression to leave and i'm telling you that person was moved out of my department something had i have seen it i've seen it so i'm not telling you what i heard i'm telling you what i have experienced and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, in my heart, there were two scriptures that the Lord gave me that I just really want you to meditate on. And it is Romans 4 and 17, where the Bible says, it, it talks about, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it. I'm going to read, I'm going to try to calm down, and I'm going to read it. So Romans 4 and 17, and I'll just read the... The New Living Translations. This is what the scripture means when God told him, I have made you the father of many nations. This happened because Abraham believed in the God who brings the dead back to life and who creates new things out of nothing. You may be more familiar with the end of that passage that says, and calls into thing and calls into being 
things that were not. When God calls Abraham, Abraham, and which means the father of many nations, Abraham had one child, and that was a child that was not did not come through the means of which God told Abraham that his son was going to come through, which was his wife. God is calling Abraham something that he's not. And Abraham is echoing that every time he calls himself Abraham. When somebody says, what, your, what is your name? He is saying to them, I am the father of many nations. He is answering to, I am the father of many nations. That is what happens. The next thing I want, the next passage of scripture I want to talk about is Acts I think it's Acts 19 and 11. I'm going to make sure. I just want to read it. There's another scripture. So the Bible says, God did extraordinary miracles through Paul. Paul is a flaw. Paul, listen, Paul was just Saul. Paul was just a killer. Paul was just somebody who had gotten it all wrong. And yet here is this regular man, right? Here is this regular man who God is using to do extraordinary miracles. He is still the God of miracles, but you need to call it in. You need, we, this is what happens. We sit in the reality of that thing that we don't want and we talk about it. I need a financial harvest. Call it in. Call, call it in. I need my marriage to be restored. Call it in. Call it in. Speak directly to restoration. Restoration, I'm talking to you concerning my marriage. Show yourself now in the name of Jesus. Jesus himself, Jesus himself in the gospel said, I can't do a lot of miracles because they don't believe. It was people's unbelief. So either you are going to believe that you can call it in or you're going to say, it don't work for me. I tried it before. That's too simple. That's too radical. That's too big. I'm going to wait for God to do it. Okay. God is telling you, I've made you in my image and my likeness. Call it in. Call it in. Well, I don't know if that's what God wants from me. Okay, then talk to him. Talk to him because listen, I'm getting ready to call it in. I'm getting ready to call it in. Like you like you call it in. Oh, I'm getting ready to call this thing in. Is, is this what y'all want? I'm getting ready to order cheese pizza. Is everybody on board? Well, I don't know. Okay, I'm calling it in. I'm calling it in. Either you're going to eat it. I'm calling it in. Call that thing that you want in. If you need finances to show up, call it in. You need your body to manifest physical health. Call it in. Call it in. Let me tell you, and I said this, I, I made a word about being falsely removed. The thief has been found, right? And he must return. He must return it to us, right? So many things have been falsely removed from you. Call it in. Call it in. What I listen, those t that t-shirt people, they said, okay, we're gonna unsuspend, and now you can set. They didn't just say, oops, we're sorry. No, we're gonna unsuspend the listing. Now you can sell it. Call it in. He is the God of miracles. Whatever it is you need. Don't listen. I'm telling you right now, people of God. I'm telling you. Don't, don't do it with no if, ands, or but. Call it in. Call it in. Call it in. Call it in. That thing that you need to show up, call it in. Please, 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 please. Don't get up under these comments saying that you're tired, that you try call it in i i'm telling you what i know to work call that thing in that thing that you are petitioning heaven for that tree doesn't get to be barren call that thing in call that thing in my heart aches for a church that has no fruit we have no harvest. We just begging and pleading. We give the enemy so much fanfare. Every time you look, it's warfare. It's warfare. Call that thing in. Call that thing in. We are to manifest the goodness of God in the land of the living. Call that thing in. Call that thing in. Call it in. I'm telling you right now under the authority of the living God, that thing that you need to show up in your life, 
speak directly to that thing and call it in. Call it in. The, the, listen, somebody trying to diagnose sickness and, oh, can you pray for me? I got, I got high blood pressure. Listen, you need to curse that thing and call in good health. You need to tell your blood pressure. No, you get ready to stabilize in the name of Jesus. You can talk to anything. Jesus talked to storms. Jesus talked to it. Talk to that thing. That's so radical. I know. I know it is because we serve a radical God. We are peculiar people. We don't do what makes sense. We do what makes faith. Call that thing in. Call that thing in. You still want to take your medicine? Take, take your medicine because the Bible says it's not what you put in that defiles you. It's what comes out of you that defiles you. You keep saying, oh, well, I want to be healed, but I got this. No, no. You can't want to be healed and still claim it what a doctor diagnosed you with. Call it in. I, I've been standing for my marriage. If you ain't calling in restoration, you ain't been standing, sis. You've been waiting. Call it in. Call it in. Call that thing in. That thing that's, that's locked up somewhere in oblivion, call it in. Call it in. Well, my children outside and they playing and they know what time to come. I don't, I don't just say, okay, look at the time. No, I'm about to be that loud mama that's opening the door. Call it in. Call it in. I'm saying this because I've seen it work for me because I love this house and because we need some fruit. We need to see it. Call it in. Call it in. I'm telling you right now, the Lord woke me up out of my sleep to tell me to tell somebody on here, call that thing in.